go ahead and get some of this red sauce on my balls. Oh, yeah. I love red sauce on the balls. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What is up and what is good with y'all? We got the double header shredder on. It's an absolute bluebird in March. It's spring skiing right now. It's nine degrees Celsius above zero. I don't know what that translates to in America, but if in America you live in a hot place, that's still freezing for you. That's like your coldest winter you've ever known. For me, for me, that's a play day. That's slush. That's soft snow. That's almost t-shirt weather that's i got the ac on in the car right now right? in the truck let's not call it, let's call it what it is a truck but we got you know what i mean it, we have i have ac on okay so that's really where i'm at right now but yeah i'm heading out to the ski hill we have a subscriber sponsored request today later on mr chinese maybe a little car smusheroo together after i muster up some hunger doing some snowboard tactics but uh, said, said sponsor was looking to maybe see a little vlog action, a little documentation of my uh, snowboarding day. So we'll see what I can make happen. I brought some equipment to see if we can get some footage of the actual snowboarding itself and things as such. But uh, we're on the move. We're headed out and uh, I'm getting stoked up. I've been awake for a weird amount of hours, 18 at this moment. Um, that's because I screwed up my sleep schedule the other day. Like basically I could be on a good sleep schedule for like a little bit of time. Right. And then all of a sudden it all takes is one night for my fucking artist, musician, insomnia brain, creative life to be like, nah, 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 ideas, ideas, ideas. And then I'm like, uh, I'm just, next thing I know it's morning. And then I'm like, well, I gotta sleep at some point and then I fall asleep like in the day and then I wake up at night and then my whole shit screwed up. So in order to get it back on like true uh, schedule, basically what I do is I'll just stay up the night, depending on how the, day, the next day comes around and feels, I'll push myself to make sure I stay up until the evening again and then get in bed at like 10 p.m. So that's my goal for today. And in order to keep me like, you know, alive and going, like a body in motion stays in motion. I was like, I definitely have to get in a nine degree bluebird, absolute bluebird. If you look at it out here, you can see we're heading out to the mountain, right? You can see down the road there. See the ski slope actually right there, maybe possibly if you were to zoom right in. But anyhow, we cruise in, we're going, and it's basically just keeping me like, Awake, alive, moving, once I get out, fresh air, the sun, da 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 da, you know, be up and at them. And uh, also, you know, I'll tire myself out, get some hunger up, get this Chinese food, and also get home, be tired from all that and everything, and then be able to get like a normal sleep, hopefully, and then get my sleep schedule back in order. So that was very long winded. But, you know, can you guys relate? Like, I know there's gotta be other people out there who have these troubles like me. Like, I can't be the only one, right? Why is that? I just, I hate it. I wish I had precise biorhythms, but I do not. What I do have, though, is the return of the Wawa, the coldest Wawa, in fact. We're back using it. I still get monetary kickbacks. If you'd like to purchase with the coldest water for this spring, summer season coming up, gonna be back heavy in the videos when I'm using it because it's a great bottle for these things so uh, link is down below and uh, in order to get jazzed up for this event we got to shake rattle and roll we got to shake rattle and roll that's what's up that's an extra little boost I'm gonna need to keep it flowing Keep it alive, keep it going. Why do you haunt me everywhere I go? I'm trying to move on in every way I know. Your body is gone, but still remains your ghost. Why do you haunt me everywhere I go? 
yeah, ice cream, yeah, yeah. We all want ice cream, yeah, okay. And we all want nice things, yeah, yeah. We all want icing on that cake. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me what I like. Give me everything I want that I want in this life. Give me, give me women, give me cars, give me ice. But it's hard to decide from the dark and the light. You gotta appreciate how far the boot technology came. It used to be so hard <laughs> lacing up. You gotta pull so tight, wrap around all these different things. Laces on your hand spring. Now all it is is wires and this crank. And you just crank her down super tight into this mush. The man's beside me is banging that old school Kanye. Time to switch this out for the 5X. Shosh. Wind River driving gloves, but they are really actually the best for snowboarding because the leather just lets no snow in. And of course, you guys, don't forget your mask when you're outside, outdoors. Don't forget. Uh oh, chocolate milk. She's yucky, she's not. All right, made it over to the technically more chill side. That run over there didn't look too crazy, but uh, I kind of messed, the angle was too down at my board. I gotta go back and do another run over there. And the whole time I talked to you guys on the way up, I had my cam in slow-mo, so that looked stupid or that didn't work. So we'll go back to that other side, but we're now on the, uh, the more learner side, beginner side, or the chiller side. So it's like it's more mellow for, for like park activities. But this year there are limited park activities just due to the fact that they were shut down off and on, off and on, off and on due to we know why. And uh, they just didn't bother building a lot of stuff. So there's a little bit of stuff over here, but nothing too crazy. Not like it usually would be if it was a normal season. This dude is so soft. On the bigger side, got the exterior picnic tables because inside's closed. We got our S distancing happening, picnics and whatnot. I was just standing in line there and having such existential crazy thoughts about just like we are the tiniest microbial space bacteria <laughs> on this rock or whatever having like this one time fun time experience and amidst it all <laughs> we decide to get on these rickety at height not natural to us at all <laughs> metal things with shit strapped to our feet and go down vertical sl slopes on snow and shit as fast as we possibly can 
to entertain ourselves <laughs> and we all have our own little individual like lives going on we're all just gathered here like little crazy bacteria who are just looking to basically entertain ourselves <laughs> while we float in this like existential everything and existential nothingness not knowing why we're here where we came from or where we're going so in the meantime we hurl ourselves down hills of snow on these like metal sticks to like feel alive or something it's so crazy if you think about it it's actually nuts it's so nuts speaking of nuts when I was a kid, this hill right here, the one we go up with the chair left, is called the Giant. So this is the Giant, that's the Jolly Giant, and way off to the side is Devil's Dive. Those are two runs that are like double black diamond, like expert, but they're not ever groomed or anything. You just have to like go at your own risk. And we used to rip them, but they're not that fun. They just, you kinda, they're just not that enjoyable. They're too, it's too much like, high speed straight or, or carving over, uh, what are they called, moguls. This uh, is the giant, which all the skiers love. They used to hold races on here. It's pretty, it's getting pretty like sunned out and grassed out right now. But over here under the chairlift, they used to have crazy moguls and then freestyle jumps, uh, little cheese wedge style jumps that people used to trick off. And then in the main area here on the main slope, you kind of, bomb it or do big wide carves but when this was in prime season in like real snow seasons they would hold races on here and the big wide turns with huge yellow icy <laughs> big turns all sketch i always hated going down down these like i could do them they're fine it's just they're not fun they're just so like bomb worthy it's just like you just gotta like be hella carver or crazy bomb guy and like it's just not that fun it's just unenjoyable i like to dilly dally dip around or at least when i was younger now that i'm a bit older and i actually i'm out of season like i haven't snowboarded for real for real and i want to say uh like i moved to toronto 10 years ago i came back a couple winters in the first couple years and i snowboarded like two times each over like uh uh christmas so it'd be like two times a year like maybe like eight years ago so this is my first time back on a snowboard and like like for real for real and probably about like eight seven eight years it's like riding a bike though it's like i'm still just as solid as i ever was the only thing is i don't have that uh kind of just like that that like touch like that youthful touch of like knowing just having that comfortability of like hitting jumps and and spinning off shit and like things like that like that you have to kind of get that back a little bit but everything else is like super comfy like i just feel as normal and good as i ever have in terms of straight ripping carving little butters and shit but as far as like hitting some jumps or boxes or rails and stuff i haven't done it in so long so you just kind of like get that back that finesse that feeling but this is what they call the north side that over there behind us is the south side which we were just at but it was because the sun's beating down on it it's hella slow right now so this side is actually fast and uh, enjoyable look at it all the existential ants having their existential ant good time hurling themselves down ski hills yeah we're weird oh there's a sleeping giant way in the back never noticed that in all my life skiing here, I've never seen that. Y'all rip it, bud. You got the best outfit out here. That dude is shredding the fucking gnar, bro. Shorts rippers. Huh? Shorts rippers. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> awesome. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking to get raspberries all over their legs, eh?
That little girl's coat blew off. Uh oh, my mask blew off. Can't lose that. Otherwise, I'd be out the game. That little girl's coat blew off. I was trying to be like a good Samaritan, but I was coming in way too hot. I was coming in Mach 1, and I just like, you'll see in the clip, I just fucking, it blew at her. But hey, she got it back. It was, ended up in front of her, so she didn't have to climb backwards. So shout out me for being a good Samaritan on the snowboard stick. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Fucking chemtrails. 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 They're... They're spreading the you know what one nine. Dropping the you know what one nine on all over us. Cases are gonna rise. You know what one nine up in the sky. You know what one nine. I'll say this. This season they shut down night skiing, snowboarding because just, I don't know, just because of the closures and everything. And I, just, I think it just got too complicated with everything. So, and I think there might be like, I don't know if there's curfews in place or whatever, but night skiing night snowboarding is the sauce like i this is fun or whatever but nighttime is way sicker under the lights you just put on your tunes you have such a such a more like amped vibe in the dark but it's not dark like you can see but it's just such a different energy crack like a drink or two to just kind of loosen up and then just throw on your tunes and, and ride in the dark it's so fun so absolutely and incredibly fun Perhaps we should do a different run this time. Uh-oh. Thank you. Pull down. So this run is called the Maple. And back in the day, this used to be sauce. Like, this used to be where, like, the huge tabletop was and, like, some crazy other shit. Some weird trail stuff, trail jumps. And uh, this was this was the, the, the ticket back in the day, this one. But it's different now. We got an RIP down there right now, actually. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> The Badlands. We are in the Badlands. Oh, this is no good. This is not good. We gotta navigate this. All oh, rocks. Ugh. Well, that goes the end of that for today. We're broken. Just gotta do a handheld. So sticky. I hope I make it. I'm gonna make it. Just barely. Oh man, that was a rough. I was certainly not expecting that snap and I wasn't expecting that barren wasteland of a hill that was so bad and in those flats everything is so slow right now. Reveal these eyes that have a drive a fat man's tan, high blood pressure mukbang tan. <laughs> Look at this little shred stick, eh? Get it going, bud.
See, I'm still able to hold this by a nub, but I just don't really know how much more I can show you guys. Really, like, I'm not trying to go down any of these, banging down these back streets or anything like that. It's kind of a, a one-trick pony here right now. And normally, back in the day, at least on this run, at the very end there where you're coming by the chair, there used to be a big tabletop there, but not anymore. It's low. It's low key kind of lame here this year, but I understand. I understand why. All right, I'm roached. I packed her in, came back, changed out pretty much all the way down to just have my uh, snowboard pants on still here. But that's enough of that for me. We're almost five o'clock here, so I got a good two hours and forty five session in. You know, didn't stop at all. Just kept doing my rip ski, and uh, now it's closing at five. And uh, I, you know what I can't believe? The most thing that I can't believe is that like when you're out the game or just, I don't even think it's because I'm like gotten older. It's just, it's just conditioning. When I used to be in like snow, like come out all the time back in the day, me and my buddies used to go like six hours straight, like no stops, no breaks, maybe one, maybe one intermission just to re-up like a, a couple beers or something and a quick bite but usually we would stay out like mostly all day and the fact that nowadays like two two and a half hours just roasted like my legs everything so I, it's just a matter of conditioning really i think more than anything but uh i think if i was to start fresh next season if it was normal with no shutdowns and shit and i just was like actually going like time and time again had a membership I'd be able to uh, lean into it to get to the point where I could like actually rip for like, you know, four hours type thing, maybe a little more. But anyways, I'm gonna roll out of here. Such a beautiful day, it's still so beautiful. And Saturdays are the best days because Supercross is on when I get home, which is amazing. But like I told you guys earlier, I've been awake since like 8 p.m. last night because my sleep schedule is screwed so i'm running on 21 hours of awakeness right now i feel fine though honestly after ripping but we're gonna have another red bull because i need to make it through watching the supercross i need to make it to like 10 10 30 11 o'clock go to bed and then have my life back in order but you know what's dope about this all that ice i packed earlier is still in there so if you've ever considered getting one Highly suggest it. Sitting in here for f three hours, four hours. Good for the upcoming season. And y'all know, like I said, helps me a little bit as well. I get a little monetary kickback. But let's get out of here. Maybe put on a little song I want to release of my own, but don't want to waste it without a video. But unfortunately, don't have any friends or freebies or enough money to make artistic videos because they cost like thousands of dollars.
what's good with y'all welcome to today's video right off top shout out to sort of an anonymous uh supporter today they kind of just want to remain low-key even though we've been in deep chats planning some things uh however we've got sidetracked on some of those just due to some technical diffs so today uh they just said you know what get some chinese on me and maybe you know document some of the snowboarding so i uh, hope you guys enjoy that little uh snowboarding segment in the front here I'm ready to crush some Chinese. I have my standard classic basic. I love a dinner combo for one, some beef and mixed greens. We got some chicken fried rice. We got the chicken balls with the sweet and sour sauce. And of course, it wouldn't be one of my Chinese videos if we didn't get the Vietnamese spring rolls, AKA Lit Sigs coming in hot clutch with a Diet Doc P. Finally coming back on market a little bit here it seems so they're a little more accessible than they used to be and uh, that means before we do anything more we must pour so boom we got the sledder super center today no skier and we're gonna crack the tippity top on this and pour up a nice beautiful diet doc peasy with extra fizz because she's extra fresh coming straight out the factory they've been on layaway for quite some time it seems but yeah i worked myself up a nice little hunger ripping the slopes on the in that on that bluebird there just a beautiful beautiful day amazing kept me awake kept me alive but i'm definitely gonna eat this and be ready to crash out asap rocky i'm certain of it at this point Sleep has never sounded so good. I've been awake much too long. But this will correct my whacked sleep schedule. So there we go. Cheers to you for coming along my journeys with me today and being here in this video. Much obliged for clicking, liking, subscribing, and all the things and whatever else you did. And love ya. Okay. First sip. <laughs> squishy. nice all right feel like it's been a minute since i've had some chinese food uh, i feel like definitely like probably two months or so so let's go ahead and get a uh, lit sig there we go lighten it up with that sig light and sauce all the ogs know that's how we gotta start one of these videos here we go Moving and grooving. Mm. Just like I was on those slopes today. Had a good little vibe going. It's the pros and cons of a spring skiing things get deteriorated out there sometimes it gets sticky and slow unfortunately there wasn't a lot of little things to mess around on but The general bombing and carving of the hill. Still fun. But you can't beat like plus, it was plus nine. Uh, just with, with a blue, completely blue sky. Nice warm spring air. If you've never experienced it, 
I feel a little bad for you. It's just, it's a different vibe. It's unmatched and can't be duplicated. The only thing that would have made it better for me was if I was able to have a couple drinks. Snowboarding buzzed is, you know, bar none, one of, one of the more fun things in life. can't do that when you're driving especially with the license that I have I'm one away from my final one and the one that I have you can't have any alcohol in your system at all can't have like a beer at all and we all know that back in the day I lost my license due to impaired driving. It's not worth it. I was young, dumb, ignorant, and thought I knew better. Paid the price. Will never make that mistake ever again in my life. But hey, sometimes the best way is the hard way. Really drills it into you. And is able to affect change. Not having your freedom with a vehicle is devastating to your lifestyle. In my experience. Certainly more so when you live in like a widespread type town if you're in a major city it's a little more manageable of course all right chicken ball more red more red sauce of course Perfectly white chicken. Just the best. I definitely noticed after years off the board and like obviously getting a bit older. It's like you you go you you'll do anything in your power to like not fall down. I was just like, I don't wanna bail, like I don't wanna fall, I don't wanna tumble, I don't wanna crash crash. Whereas when I was like younger and more worked in and like, like just like in the zone and the vibe of it, still like wiping out sucks, but it was, 
I don't know. It's just like more. I don't know, tolerable or something like easy to bounce back from. Those veggies are slopping with the beef. Get a true scoop of this rice. You guys know I dose everything in this sauce. <laughs> Why not? Bite ski for you. I don't know about y'all, if you snowboard or have experienced it, tried it. I promise you when I say this, it was one of the most difficult tasks I've ever learned how to do in my life. And that was with the advantage of transitioning from skiing already for like years. So I was used to like... The idea of balance and snow and going down a hill and like turning and edges and stuff but from skis to a snowboard whole different ball game I think I was 10 or 11 when I started and I legit wanted to quit immediately. My dad and stepmom, <laughs> I tested their patience hard. Just constantly falling. Constantly whining, complaining, crying, telling them to get my skis back. <laughs> I certainly wanted to quit hard so many times. And uh, I just kept at it, of course, eventually I got it, but it took me literally like an entire season to even just get like carving and get down to the bottom of the hill. I didn't become proficient Probably till like midway of second season. And then I remember <laughs> my dad, we convinced him to, to try snowboarding because he, he was trying to teach me snowboarding or like be there to, to help me learn while I was, while he was skiing. And then one year, we got him on a snowboard, and I could snow, like me and my stepbrother could snowboard. And this guy could not, it took him like two hours to get to finish from start to finish on his first run on like the easier hill. And we were just watching them bail, 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 bail. And I was like, <laughs> now you know what it was like for me, like why I wanted to quit and give up so bad. <laughs>
he of course didn't whine, whimper, and cry, but he was like, this is fucking hard. A fond memory, because I got to laugh at him. And see him experience the frustration that I did. Alright, well, I'm already weirdly nice and full. Probably because I've just been awake for so long. It's just like eating is a weird thing right now. Uh, I always have this trouble. Is this like a bad luck or like, what do I do? Do I open one and leave one or do I always open two? I never know what that means. Like if you have two fortune cookies, like do you get to open both? Like I feel like you're only supposed to get one, but I guess I'll do two right now. Really good one. Pretty perfect for right now. Others are attracted to your endearing warmth. Are you? Are you attracted to my endearing warmth? Endearing. <laughs> if you're watching, you know who you are. Very endearing. <laughs> Subscriber insider. A DM here and there. Many DMs. A good deed will make you feel good. Well, it did, and I did it today on the slopes. <laughs> Y'all saw in the footage. That girl lost her coat, and I zipped by, and scooped it, and passed it to her, threw it at her, going Mach 1. But, I made it so she didn't have to hike backwards up the hill to get her coat, so I'll take that as my good deed, and it indeed did make me feel good. If I do say so myself, I actually love fortune cookies, the crunch and this, the subtle sweetness of them something about them I have no idea how they make them I wonder how they make them should look it up all right solid one solid day very fun delicious meal oddly tired kind of going crazy feel strange ready for bed this was good uh, and yeah once again Thank you to today's sponsor. Shout out you. To the rest of y'all, y'all know what to do. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.